Hi, my name is Anamika Hops, and this is The Art Friend Show, where every conversation focuses on getting to know the essence of creativity itself. I'd love to invite you as well to join me inside of Art Friends School, where we go deeper into these topics and join in with other art friends around the world. Thanks so much for joining us, and let's get to the show. Welcome to the Art Friend Show. Here's an artist you're gonna love to know. Hi, my name is Anamika Hops, and our guest today is Jeannie Mercer. I'm so excited for you to get to meet her and learn about her art. She has a really fun slogan that's called Art That Loves You Back. And um, this is the Art Friend Show where we're going live every day uh, for 100 days in a row to talk about the creative process and get to know the essence of um, art making as well as become friends with each other. So without further ado, I'm going to invite Jeannie into uh, the interview. Here we go. Hey, Jeannie. I made it in. You're in. Congratulations. And all your new beautiful art is behind you. Welcome. Will you please just briefly introduce yourself, say where in the world you live, and then we'll, we'll get into looking at, at, at some of your story and your art. Sure, sure. I am Jeannie Mercer, and I live in Waxahachie, Texas. It's just south of Dallas. And I've lived in this, this area for many, many, many years. And I love it here. I have land. I get to live on 11 acres. So I have wildflowers like crazy and trees and birds and quiet. It's wonderful. Oh, my gosh. I feel like I've visited it, even though I haven't, because we've, um, well, as we discussed, so, so I always ask my clients if they want to be uh, revealed as plants or not. So Jeannie and I did work together in the past in my mentoring program. And a lot of your work at the time was walking out onto your land and making work in response to that. And through your lens, I feel like I've visited Waxadachi, Wax Texas. I'm saying it wrong, <laughs> but I love, <laughs> I love seeing your part of the world. Thank you, thank you. And um, I, I just want to say to that, that that experience with being mentored by you was incredible. It was so much fun. It was so hard sometimes. <laughs> and, um, but it, I just, I felt loved on and cheered for. And I felt really proud of what I ended up putting together. And um, I feel like I, it up leveled, I up leveled and it has just pushed me on my way in a gorgeous, gorgeous way. So thank you for that. Of course, I absolutely adore you as a human and, and being able to go that intimately into your your creative practice at that time in your development was it was it was very interesting and fulfilling for me and mm -hmm. now i'm just like i receive these fabulous email newsletters that you write you're producing online classes you just went to a residency you have a full body of new work behind you i mean that's pretty awesome so <laughs> I, I i always feel very uh proud for you of, of everything that you're creating. Yeah, well, thank you. And I, uh, I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have done any of that had not, I not um, met you and gotten into that process. So thanks again for that. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I hear you. And I, I also know that I, like you, you would have found a way one way or another. And I'm grateful that I got to play that role and be that resource for you. Um, for sure. Yes. Yes. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. I received that. Um, <laughs> so one thing that you did do while we were together is to in, begin the connection with a residency center that really spoke to your heart. And you just completed that residency experience. Can we hear a bit about that? It was, I call it transcendent. It was more than I 
ever knew to expect. So I, um, I um, applied when we were working together and it was actually last June and I didn't hear back from them until January. And in January, I got said, would you like to come? And when would you like to come? And so I set that up and, and Willow Tell Springs is in Southwest Colorado. It is a gorgeous part of the world. I had never been to that part of Colorado before. It's secluded. Um, getting there and, you know, all the practical things was um, challenging. So I flew from Dallas to Albuquerque, New Mexico, and then I rented a car and drove up to Mancus, uh, Colorado. And so I had uh, a log cabin really? to myself. It was so, so cool. And, um, and use of a studio. And I was the only resident there. And so the studio was mine for the week. Oh my gosh. It had windows, sliding glass doors. It looked out over a lake, was surrounded by trees and gardens. And the inspiration was just nonstop. Wow. Yeah. Oh. It was. Did, what, 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 what felt? Um, surprising to you about having a week in this remote place and a, and a go sounds like a gorgeous painting studio all to yourself. Yeah. Um, what surprised me? Um, it, su it surprised me, I think, that once I settled in, it took me about a day and a half to kind of decompress and, you know, breathe. And once I settled in, um, I just, it, things just flowed. It was so much easier to paint and um, just, there are just no distractions. Mm. And at home, even though I, I live a really quiet, simple life, um, there are still distractions and, you know, yeah. laundry to be done and all kinds of things. Um, the joy, like it was just so joyful. It didn't feel ever like work, but it was just play. Um, I would work. I've kind of fell into a routine of working a couple of hours in the morning, going off to have lunch or, you know, visit with the birds <laughs> Ever, yeah. and come and, and do another couple of hours maybe in the afternoon early evening cool. um, so yeah yeah Woo, goodness sorry about that <laughs> all, all good we just roll with it um you're in texas i don't know what that was but it sounds like a shot um yeah so it sounds like the residency gave you an opportunity to to have your natural rhythm around art making that was yeah. that was even more protected from all of the distractions of daily life. And I'm curious how it's been since you've returned, if you've if it's been difficult to reenter or if it's changed your your way of creating at all. Um it you know, reentry is always tricky. And um so yeah, it, it has been a little bit tricky. I um, am in love with the paintings that I did there. Yeah. And so what I wanted to do when I was home was, you know, kind of love on them and finish the edges and see it, you know, do all the final things. And yeah. so I, I've spent time with that. And I, um, I had a, a piece that didn't, I didn't complete. In fact, I pretty much just <laughs> covered it over um, on the trip. And so I've worked on that. And it, um, I would love to say, oh, it's just flowing. <laughs> just like it was at the retreat. Um, but it's, you know, I'm certainly really still good. working it. And yeah, 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 absolutely. 
Do you need any, um, do you want to talk about that at all? Can I help? <laughs> well, I'm sure you can help. <laughs> yeah, so I think it was so natural to go to like really be in the flow. Uh, while I was there, it just, there were, it just didn't take any, it just didn't feel like you didn't even have to intend it. It was yeah. just there. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, how do you, I know you have lots going on in your life and how do you kind of get into that flow when you do? Well, <laughs> um, you know, I'm, it's really interesting to be a practitioner of the thing I talk about all the time with other people. I think you might relate to this, you know, in, in your previous career too, um, of just, I think I teach best what I need to know. And so for me, having a, having a very full life with a young kid and clients and a business to find the time to create has often taken in the deadline of a show. So mm -hmm. having, having like a very accountable public type of thing where I, I need to finish the work so that it can be shown or having an internally structured, um, you know, like challenge element to my practice. Like you actually supported me when I did a hundred days in a row of painting and that yes. that helped me prepare for the show that I just installed. But it really felt like the almost the whole hundred days, I felt like a, a singer going, <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, 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 uh. Like, you know, and I, I think so perhaps the nugget that I'm trying to get to here is that all these years myself and talking to other artists, there is no, there's no magic way. <laughs> it's, it's like, it fits the time and the place and the artist and the work. Yeah. And for me personally, like, I'm very in flow with the art friend show now. I, I, it brings me immense joy and I've been able to structure my life to do it every day. Um, so I'm just really trusting this right now. And my, my art, if it feels like, if it, if it feels like I'm really still clear in my throat until my next song comes out, then I think it's the work for me is about making peace with that discomfort and continuing mm. to show up. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, forcing it never works. <laughs> I mean, we try, don't we? <laughs> but, yeah. So um, your video is grainy. Okay. Um, but I think when you hold still, we it kind of starts to focus. So I'm curious if you could actually maybe go Vanna White next to your paintings and talk about them a little bit. And maybe the video will pick them up more clearly. Let's see what happens. Yeah. <clears throat> Should I turn the camera around? No, I would leave. I would actually, when we're having a difficulty with signal, if you leave your phone in the same place, just let it like chill and, and you, it, is it propped you up? Want yeah. And then you can walk back there. Yeah. Okay. So fun to see your new work. Can you see it? Yeah. This far away. Yeah. 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 So um, this is my actually this is my very favorite piece, and so I did change um, tweak my process just a little bit while I was there, and because I I typically just start and I'm you know, make a bunch of layers and I don't know, you know, what's coming. I'm, um, I, I paint pretty intuitively. And I did that with the first painting while I was there. And it turned out, and I, and I like it, I love it, but I, I kind of caught myself and said, I want to do something different this week. And so I, I did do a little bit of sketching out ahead of time. Yeah. And by, all, by that, it's like these, these were, um, cattails or reeds coming up out of the lake 
And so that's how I started. And that uh, all I did was just with my, just painted them really, just sketched them in. Yeah. And uh, I really had fun with that little bit of difference in how, how I was working. Cool. Cool. Um, so you gave yourself structure and a, a deliberate piece of imagery, whereas you've previously been working like very intuitively without any plan. Um, yeah. You... I did love it. I really, really did. And so um, I'm, I've been working with that while I've been home to see if um, that'll, you know, how, how that'll work out. Cool. I love how it, I love how it took your work into a place that does feel like um, composed. There's a sense of composition yeah. from that deliberateness that I, I enjoy about this new series a lot. So thanks for working. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. cool. Yay. All right. <laughs> I'll just do this. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, I, I have eight, eight You know, pieces. Jeannie, if, you'd, if you, let's try it. Let's try picking up your phone and turning the camera on so we can see closely. See what happens. Yeah. All right. I'm guessing the button. Yeah. So you, once you, you get to a piece, just hold still. Okay. So the image can kind of resolve. Yeah. Now we can see it. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's the one I was mentioning. And I won't show them all to you, but I want to show you one more that just tickled me okay. Okay. to no end. That is. This one, cool. let me get still. Can you see it? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I'm loving this. Yeah. Yeah. So all I did that day was I just, there were some tops of some trees. Nothing had bloomed yet yeah. there. Um, in Colorado and there were these tops of these small trees mm -hmm. and just the way the branches all caught together in in a point and then went out yeah. and so I was really just making marks and I had no you know but it, it turned into what I, I think it's really a, a abstract landscape that I love yeah. and there was a pond you know there was a lake there and that's kind of represented mm -hmm. and anyway very cool. Yeah. 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 So I think I'm that what I, one thing I really love about that are the really dark, um, the really dark linear elements with that mm -hmm. kind of creamy soft mm -hmm. pink. And, and I'm a fan of like a lot of dark and light value contrast and it, and it really sings in that piece. Thank you. Yummy. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Um, well, um, you also, so right now we've kind of traveled the path from working together about a year ago in a mentoring program. And you were already, you were already totally on fire as an artist and you used that time to <laughs> create a body of work based on going out on your land. And you came up with this slogan, uh, art that loves you back. And you applied to the Willow Tail residency. And then fast forward to this year, you just finished your residency there a week in a cabin in rural Colorado and all the logistics of getting yourself there as well as doing these exuberant paintings on site and it's definitely taking your work in a, in a, a slightly new direction which is fun to see and you just created a new kids course can you tell us about that I yes I would love to so I, um, in my former life, was an elementary school counselor for, for many years and absolutely loved that. And while I was doing that, when I would teach kids, we would often, um, we would do art together. And we would breathe and we would, we would do several other things. Um, yeah. And so I really just decided one day what if well actually it started with my grandson mm -hmm. um was over in, in the studio and he, he we designed a simpler version of rainbows that love you back which is Beautiful. a course that i have 
So we designed a, a simpler version for that and we call it Rainbows That Love You Back. Mm -hmm. So he and I did that one together. And then that was so fun that I have made a list of all the others that That's I want to do. So we, flowers came next and um, those were really inspired by um, a picture book of the art of Alma Thomas. And yeah. it's, been a, it's been a fun way to kind of relive that really special part of life that um, kind of fed me back then in, yeah. in a creative Cool. And um, yeah, yeah. So well, the kids say they, um, it sounds like I'm talking just to them. And, um, and I do feel like a, a really, a really, um, I started to say best version, but just a really sweet version of myself that um, I love and it feels very real and enjoyable. And so as long as, as it does, then I'm going to keep doing that for a while. I love that, Jeannie. And so is this an online class that is pre-recorded or do you teach it live? What's the, what's the experience like for people when they take it? It's, it's pre-recorded. And what you receive is a PDF that has links to all the videos. Mm -hmm. And so I have them divided up. You um, certainly don't have to do it all in one sitting. It, it's easy to do it in stages. Yeah. You can go back and listen several times. So yeah, it's pre-recorded and at your own time, keep it forever. That's awesome. <laughs> that awesome. kind of thing. You're a rock star. I'm just doing it. <laughs> I love it. I love to see it. You said that you're giving people a, uh, a $5 off if they are listening to this. So what's the code? Yes. Yeah, so the, um, the regular price is $22, and so the $5 off comes with Flower Love, all caps. Flower, Flower Love, all Love. caps, and they can sign up for 17 bucks. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Holy moly. Um, <laughs> well, it's so fun to watch you in motion, and y'all, if you haven't, if you're just discovering Jeannie right in this moment, in this conversation, definitely go check her out. Give her a follow. She sends out really wonderful, loving, thoughtful newsletters that are full of her art and her stories. And she's a fantastic writer. And I enjoy receiving them. And I'm always very proud when I see you sending them. And you're really an example mm -hmm. of, of someone who you decided to go for it. And you're, you're really doing it. You're doing the many facets of this um, of, of creating work and then sharing it with the world. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Yeah. It's, it's a lovely time. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Jeannie, well, thank you for coming on the Art Friends show. I believe it's day 93 today. So okay, also like, thanks for being part of the inaugural 100 days. Um, and it's so great to have your voice and story as a part of it. And it's fun to catch up about your residency and to your work. And I, I just can't wait to see where you are another year from now. My goodness. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. I think this was just a, a delight. Yeah. Thanks for coming. All right. Mwah. Mwah. Bye bye. I'd love to have you inside of Art Friends School where we go deeper into these topics. Follow the link that's in the show notes or find it on my website at onamika.com.